slash executive director of the Housing Authority at Hoboken, Carmelo Garcia, will see his lawsuit against Mayor Dawn Zimmer continue. Judge Barone ruled on Monday that Garcia's lawsuit does have a legitimate claim that his civil rights were violated by appointees put on the board by the mayor. However, two other counts alleged in the lawsuit were thrown out by the judge. We got a further update from Garcia's attorney, Louis Zayas of North Bergen. First of all, we now know the lawsuit will be moving forward despite uh, some indications that it may not be the case. So just give me your reaction to that, uh, Mr. Zayas. Well, we learned yesterday the judge uh, agreed that the uh, allegations against Mayor Zimmer, her husband, and uh, the uh, Hoboken Housing Authority will continue as a civil rights violation, which is a major victory for us because we always contended that Mayor Zimmer's uh, uh, threats and intimidation of Mr. Garcia were unlawful under the uh, New Jersey Constitution. So we're happy that the judge agreed that there was enough facts to go forward. We're, you know, however, disappointed about the judge's dismissal of Mr. Carmelo Garcia's uh, whistleblowing claim because we felt that you don't need to suffer economic harm in order to sustain a, a uh, whistleblowing complaint. We believe that threats to one's employment on a daily basis is sufficient to you know, alter one's work environment. And you don't need to get fired in order to be retaliated against in the workplace. So we feel that, uh, unfortunately, that the judge didn't see it the same way we did, but uh, we'll take an appeal when the time comes. But at this point, we're going to go forward and get ready for trial. Was it part of the argument that since Mayor Zimmer isn't directly Mr. Garcia's boss, the claim didn't have enough facts to have merit, I guess would be the best way to put it? Well, we alleged in the amended complaint that Mayor Zimmer, through her political proxies on the Hoboken Housing Authority, is the employer, that through a conspiracy to implement her policy, she is, in effect, the employer. Uh, we don't. Uh, we believe that we don't rely on corporate formalities to disguise the real party and interest. Here, uh, we believe that um, Mayor Zimmer, through her political allies on the board, effectively controls the terms and condition of employment uh, as to the Hoboken Housing Authority. And there's case law that supports that that very legal uh, theory. Uh, unfortunately, the judge didn't agree. And uh, that's fine. I have a great deal of respect for the judge, but on, on that particular issue, we didn't see eye to eye. And then there was a third club counter claim uh, in the lawsuit, right, regarding uh, discrimination? We alleged that uh, Mayor Zimmer uh, aided and abetted the discriminatory conduct uh, directed against Mr. Garcia. This is an ongoing pattern in Hoboken of government officials retaliating against minorities. Uh, as you know, Mayor Zimmer and Hoboken. Uh, we're involved in a lawsuit where a jury awarded a million dollars against Hoboken for Mayor Zimmer's decision to fire Angel Alicia, the first uh, Hispanic uh, uh, director of public safety. So there's a pattern here involving discriminatory conduct, and we believe that the law supports a broad uh, approach to liability, that if a third party is involved in decision-making of another entity, that that person is individually liable under the law. And that's what we intend to prove in due course. And the only other thing on that point with Mr. Alisea, uh, is it true the city filed an appeal on that matter? I haven't seen any appeal. I know they recently lost a motion to uh, set aside the verdict. Um, they lost. And uh, I haven't seen any notice of appeal. I'm John Itis on Takaudi TV, Hoboken.